my friends and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best free resource in terms of keeping track of all of your content creation stuff. And this is not a sponsored video, by the way. I literally just discovered this like site thing a long time ago. I've been using it ever since and everyone keeps asking me how I use this. So I'm going to show you guys. And yeah, the site is called Notion. So this is the one that I've been using for a really long time. Also disclaimer, I um, feel like I suck at Notion. A lot of people on YouTube have really cool looking like Notion pages and they they got all the templates and formatting down and I don't have any of that. I just um, like try it and I think it looks it doesn't look the greatest the way I do it. But hey, it works for me and it's done a great job for making sure that I can keep track of all of my work and stuff like that. Especially as somebody with ADHD, I tend to get distracted very easily. So this really helps me a lot with keeping track of what I need to do. So here is my notion and here is what it looks like. This is just a default template, but the best way I could kind of explain notion, well, I should probably just look up how they explain themselves, but it's basically kind of like a, imagine a very interactive whiteboard where you can go and put a title, um, write down thoughts and ideas, but then you can also like open up more pages to this whiteboard. So if you click a page, it takes you to another blank page. Oh God, words are hard where you can go and elaborate further on said thing. And so it's a really great way for keeping track of things that you need to do. If you notice on the left hand side here, these are all of my, um, I think these are referred to as documents, but I'm not, I'm honestly not that sure, I'm not gonna lie. But I have a bunch of like default template ones, but there's a lot of things that you can add to it. Like text, you can add to-do lists, you can add sub pages, which again, takes it to another page that is like a subcategory or you can make it whatever you can embed links you can add images etc etc so i'm gonna walk you through setting up a page for yourself because i'm trying to reformat one page that i've previously made or a document and this is the document that i'm trying to reformat this is the one that i always pull up on stream which everyone always is like oh my god what is this site so this is a board in notion so you can go and categorize tasks or just pages um, like you can just add a little text here, but if, it, if this little like document icon next to it, that's a page. So if I click it, like, um, here, I'll click this one for my notes from my full time content creating with ADHD YouTube video. It opens up another page where you can add like bullet points, text. You can literally add another page to this if you wanted to. So you can like click another page and to go to another page if you want. But, um, I find that this helps me keep track of my things a lot where it's kind of like um it's kind of like a notebook you know where this is like the tab but you can open to the tab and there's like more stuff in in that one like tab in your notebook hi it's editing cat here i realize the word i'm looking for is folder you know where you can like label a folder as something and then you open the folder and wow there's more things in it yeah words are difficult again like i said hopefully that makes a lot of sense i know it's really overwhelming at first but um Hopefully my explanation can help walk you through a little bit. So if you want to go create a page, you can just kind of um, under where whatever uh, section that you have hit plus, and then you can add a page here. I'll just like delete this one. I'm trying to make a better YouTube one. So name it whatever you want. I'm going to name my page YouTube on. If you hover over the little like icon next to it, this little page, then you click it and you can get access to all of these emojis or you can upload your own image. Now, at first you're gonna be like, okay, so how do I add anything? Um, you can just click here and immediately start typing. But if you hover over like the line below, you can either type slash to get access to all these commands, or if you hover, you can just hit the plus icon and then get access to all these different things that you can go add. And again, it's really overwhelming because it's literally just a sheer like ton of things that you can go and add. But um, we're honestly going to probably work with the text, the page, the to-do list, and maybe the headings if we're feeling ambitious and the bullet points. So it's not that much. So first, let's just go add a heading two. And I like to go, I'm gonna go and break this up into sections 
because I have multiple YouTube channels. So I'm gonna make a heading for main channel or here, main YouTube ch channel. Spelling is really hard. You can hit enter, it'll take you to the next line. We're gonna hit plus again and we're gonna get heading two and then vlog YouTube channel. So I'm just gonna do this. Now, if you see these like six dots here, we can click it and we can drag. So you can drag this um, line around. So if you wanna drag it over here to the right side, now you see this bar here. Now this is how we can get the doubled up um, side by side set, uh, set up, which I think looks really cool. And then to probably make this look cuter, I'm gonna hit plus and then I'm gonna go add a divider, which just adds a line here. I also want to do the exact same on this side as well. So we're gonna hit enter plus and then we're gonna add a divider so we kind of like separate things. I'm gonna go click the three dots here, move two, and I'm gonna go and move this page under this one. There we go. Now, how do I drag this here? Okay. And then this page, we're gonna change this title to main YouTube content. And then also if you wanna see the extra pages, you click this little arrow drop down and you can see the sub page that I've embedded onto the main. So now I have this page here. So if I click it again, it'll take me to this page. But then how do we make one of these? I'll make one for the vlogging channel side. So we're gonna hit plus. And then what I made was um, a board database full page. So we can click this and this makes a page that looks like this. And at first you're gonna be like, wow, what is going on here? But this is the best way that I found in terms of planning your YouTube content. But this also works for TikTok and any content really that you have to edit. So vlog YouTube content is what I'm gonna title this. So you notice we have these different colorings for our cards completed, in progress, not started, and no status. Also, you can click these and just kind of uh, drag these around. So obviously I'm gonna put the completed at the end so that it makes sense. And then we're gonna go and rename these. So for the no status, you can't rename the no status, unfortunately, I wish you could, but um, I just leave the no status and these are my YouTube content ideas. Now, if we double click here, we can change the name of it. So this one is, um, wait, films and then in progress is in editing and then i want to add one more new group and we're going to call this working on a thumbnail and then i have the completed so in terms of my youtube creation process um it generally breaks down in these parts they're always my videos and whatever are always stuck somewhere in these four stages between an idea, between, um, oh, it didn't save. Between being an idea, between being a, being filmed and sitting somewhere on my computer, in editing, working on thumbnail, and completed. Wow, I love how it just didn't save some of these. But yeah, so in terms of these cards, you can put text on these cards, and then you can also drag these cards around. So. This one, we're gonna call this um, how to use Notion. And then every time you have any other ideas, you can add more here. So you can add like um, Boba dates, I don't know. And then Disneyland vlog. So I'm gonna park these here under no status as if, as if they're ideas. But then once you're done working on one, you can drag it over here. And then once you're in editing, like let's say you halfway through editing, but it's just saved as an Adobe file, move it over. So I'll do, I just move the files over or this little like doc, this little page over every time I move to a different status. But yeah. Also, if you don't wanna use the dragging method, I just like it because it's so therapeutic. You can just click it, open it, where it says working on thumbnail, where the status is, we click that and then just click the one that you want. Now, you can also add a comment and then here, you can go and add more text or lines. Just like how we did it with the main document or the main page, you can go and hit plus or type slash and then access more commands and we can do the we can build a page with the exact same complexity as the main page. I don't do it for my YouTube content here. 
under each page, I just like to add a bullet pointed quote unquote script for how the video is going to go. So I'll just, you know, instead of adding anything, I just, I just immediately type into it. So I'll do something like intro and then if you hit hyphen space, it automatically makes it into a bullet point. So talk about notion. And then if you hit backspace, it backspaces again and then body. So this is just how I break down the bullet point section. When you are done with this, if if there is notes, if if there is extra text or anything added to this page so that when you click it, it expands into something, there'll be this little document icon next to it. But this is really how I mainly use Notion for keeping track of my YouTube content. If we click this drop down and then we click the main YouTube, again, you can just see how extensively I've actually used Notion for this. What I think is also really cool though, unfortunately I can't really do it because I don't have the paid version of it, but you can actually go and add files. So if you hit the upload file, you can actually upload files from your computer so you can access every file you need for let's say like your YouTube channel background music stuff onto your Notion. So it's just a one-stop shop for it, which I think is really cool if I could actually do it. Also, editing cat here, um, you can actually attach files with the free version, but it's a really small file size of like five megabytes, I believe, which most files you need for YouTube will not be that small. But the other main thing I really use it for is a to-do list. So again, if we hit plus, and then we just hit the add a to-do list, and you can just go add a list of things you need to go do, such as uh, fix, fix your banner, um, make a new outro for instance and once you're done you can check it just like that and it'll cross it out i think it's just a very cool visual way to go and keep track of everything you need to do and it's really helped me a lot in my content creation journey and yeah i know there's so many other youtubers out there who can do this better and they have really cool looking templates and stuff so please go check out other people's videos because they, i'm sure they're doing it way prettier than i am this is just whatever works for me and you guys asked to see it so i'm here to show you because i'll do roughly whatever you guys ask trying to make your content creation journey better. But yeah, Notion, if you're seeing this video, please sponsor me with giving me a free Notion Pro, Notion Premium, whatever it's called, because um, yeah, that'll make my life a lot better. Cool, poggers. Um, but if you guys like this video, I'd appreciate it. If you guys liked and subscribed, and I hope to catch you guys in my live streams. I stream four days a week at 8 p.m. PST or in another video. Peace.